So Steam launched an update where you can see your component's performance while you play. And I thought it would be cool to have a little video about it, of how to set it up, how to understand it, how to use it, and so on. Because not many people want to download a third app just to see how their components are doing. You're gonna be playing, then you hit shift tab, down here settings, in game, and right here you're gonna have overlay performance monitor. You're gonna pick it from off and choose where you want to set it. I like top center. And then here is the part we're gonna mess around with. First off, we have FPS, which is only the FPS, nothing much about it. Basically useless to be honest. So shift tab again, change from single value to detail. And then this option is gonna appear, we're gonna turn it on just to see. Now we have the FPS, the minimum FPS, the maximum FPS, which I don't know why I would use it, but okay. And then we have a little graph to see how your FPS been playing for the last 60 seconds, I think. And then for the next one, we have FPS detail, CPU and GPU utilization, which in my opinion is the best one you can have enabled here. I'm gonna turn it off the FPS graph because I don't need it, I don't find it useful at all. And I'm gonna turn it on this one. Now we have the FPS, the minimum, the maximum, and the CPU utilization. And the up arrow in the CPU means the highest core utilization I'm having. So like one of my cores, one of the cores of my CPU is at 90% usage. And then that little graph over there shows all the core and threads utilization. So I have 12 threads in total and it's showing there the usage of the first, the second, the third, the fourth and so on. It's useful to see if one of your threads is working less than the others, if it's working more and so on. And then of course we have the GPU utilization, which honestly could have the temperature and the VRAM as a default. But to see that, we're gonna have to enable the full detail. And now, with these full details, we literally have everything. We have the FPS, we have the CPU, the CPU clock, the GPU, GPU temperature, GPU VRAM, which for now it's 5.5 out of my 6 VRAM. And of course, we have the RAM. It's using almost 13 out of my 16 gig. So, for a normal gameplay, I would set it up like this. I would turn this off and change from full detail to utilization. And that's it, I would play like this. Because I can see what's bottlenecking me. If it's the CPU, if it's the GPU, I can see the minimum FPS, which is extremely important. This overlay actually helps a lot. If there's people that don't want to download the third app and so on, but want to, to keep up with the components, how they're doing, how they're working, if they're working correctly. And of course, aside from the overlay, if you don't want the overlay, you can use the task manager to see how it's doing. But honestly, the overlay is so much easier to look at. But as I expected, the Steam overlay is lacking a lot of stuff I usually like to look at. That's why, um, most of the time, I will continue to use my MSI Afterburner, which is the program I really love about. It shows everything I want to know, and I can put other information if I want. I can take out the information if I don't want to see it as well. And plus, I have the frame time graph that is super useful to me. This is just a little showcase for the people that really don't want to download the third app. Now you can see how your PC or laptop is doing without downloading anything. Just turn it on and leave it there. And if you think it's too big or you don't like the colors, you can go to the settings again and mess around with this. You can make it really small or really pale, like, oh, I cannot see. <laughs> Never mind. A little bit more. There, works. You can play just fine and sometimes take a look up there see how it's doing. Well, that's it. That's my personal recommendation. FPS detail, CPU and GPU, 
and both of these turned off or you can turn this one just just because yes but i i don't use it so this is it